All right, everybody. So I, uh, I have another game that I'm going to start up with and uh, try to get to the taxes part uh, for the first time. So this might work, this might not work. So I, I can tell you that my success rate with a BBC has not been 100%. So um, if any of you out there were hoping that I would suffer and feel the same way that you guys did as far as frustration, I've been there. So I have definitely, uh, I've had my own share of rough sims. So the one I'm at right now, um, they got about $4,800. I already finished my first degree. Um, so I have a, a decent job actually. Uh, if I go to schedule, actually, if I just go to health, health was kind of a big one. So now I've got everything kind of maxed up on the health. Um, as far as the wealth though, I don't have a whole lot. So I just got everything kind of fixed as far as being able to do everything, but I haven't hit the taxes part yet. So taxes is, is going to be coming. So um, my schedule though, looks like this. So I was working here, going to school here and working here. So I finished the schooling. I just replaced that with work so I can get some more money um, just so I can get through the first part of this. I did bump up a little bit of my exercise and relax time too. So that's making life a little bit easier. So Right now, I'm just kind of in the uh, the grind of running to the 28th, which is kind of what you have to do at the beginning. So run to the 28th, make sure you got food, make sure you got bus tokens, uh, pay your bills. So pay off my house or my apartment, pay off my stuff here. My credit card, I've already paid the credit card down to zero. I did buy some furniture with it just to help out my credit rating for a little bit later. So. Yeah, that's just kind of what you do here. Get to the 28th. You can see my net worth is just going up because I'm working two jobs. I'm basically working seven days a week. So I would advise it for real life, but for your sim life, it'll do. So paying my stuff, still, got, still good on meals and bus tokens. So when I do run to the next one, this is gonna kick me over to the next year. So some prices and rents have risen due to inflation. That's not really a big deal until later. Uh, as you get further into this, you can, you can set up the, uh, the individual bill payments. So you don't actually have to stop the SIM. Um, the thing is though, is some prices and rents will rise due to inflation. So the, ch the numbers will change. So if you are auto paying your rent, just be aware that your rent might increase a little bit and that might kind of throw your numbers off, which would not be fun. All right, so reports and paying tax records. So these are my W-2s from the year 2021. So these are the two jobs that I had. I worked at Charlene's restaurant and I worked at Mario's offices. So that's how much I made from Mario. This is how much I had in tax withheld. So much I made here, tax withheld. Uh, I didn't do a savings account this year, so this should be a, or this time around. So this should actually be a little bit easier to do. So got to pay my taxes. So if I go to reports, and that's not what I wanted. Uh, actions, taxes. Here we go. So here's my taxes, and bring up my W two again. Sorry, I also have my, my streaming little box that's kind of in the way. So sometimes I got to move some stuff around here to make it a little bit easier to see. Remember in the beginning part of this, that part's not really all that important. The, the stuff that you want is going to be right here. So for the year 2021, let's get out my calculator here. I'm sure this makes for riveting internet watching. So 16... 464 plus, oh, come on, there we go, 9,710, 26,174, because that's how much money I made total. So I had zero in there for interest, so my total income then, lines one through five would be 26,174. All right, so that's my adjusted gross income. Now, uh, my standard deduction, because I am filing as a single person is gonna be right there. Now, we need to get into the tricky part of this, which I, for me is, is getting to be the tax table. 
So the taxable income, so let's subtract uh, lines eight and nine from line seven. So eight and nine from line seven. So that's going to be this number here. So if we go to this, 26, 174 minus 12, 20, 13,974, 13, 9, 7, 4. Okay. Now let's see here as far as um, the tax table and figure out what I am supposed to pay. Now, I think the tricky part about this, and some people have run into some problems with the tax table, do you take from this number or do you take from this number? And that's the part that actually I've had some, some difficulties with. Um, here's the thing though, I can tell you that if you take from this number, you're always gonna overpay on your taxes and you're always gonna get a refund. So I think that was some of the problem that some of the students were having is that they were taking from this number. So if you click on the tax table and take a look at it from here. So if you use the number 13,974, then that's gonna put you right here. You'll pay 970 plus 12% of the amount over that, um, which will give you a smaller number than if you put in the 26,000. They'd be similar, but I think that the best way to do this is to actually take from the top number of what your total money actually is um, because you'll get a tax refund that way. Um, I guess what I'm probably gonna do is I'm going to to run that number first. So the 26,174 um, and put that into the tax table. So do some math here. And minus nine seven. Okay, so that is $1,976, actually 77 if I can round up, plus 970. So 2,947. And that's how much it says I have to pay in taxes. So that's my total tax that I have to pay. Now, how much have they withheld so far? Well. Let's go back to my W-2s and see what they've already taken out. So they took out 101. I'm going to round up so it's 102. So 102 plus 1264 is 1366. So 1366 is what has already been withheld. Okay. So they say that the government says that I owe them $2,947 up to this point. I've paid them $1,366 through my paychecks. So I just need to figure out the difference then. 47 minus $1,366. So Okay. So line 18 is more than line 15. So print 15, 18. It is not. So that's the amount that I overpaid. I did not overpay the amount you owe. That's down here. And that's where I pay 1581. All right. So file tax return. Just pay it by debit. Okay. Now I have closed that part out. So let's do this. Let's run to the 28th. Make sure you got food and bus tokens. All right. Got to pay my bills. Pay bill, debit card. Okay. Pay bill, debit card. Okay. Discard the credit card bill, still good on meals, still good on bus tokens. So my net worth is now up to 8,000. I'm gonna do run to 28th of February. And there we go.
So pay bills, debit card, and nice and easy up to this point. Discard that bill. Getting pretty close to needing some uh, food and some stuff like that. If I go to health, I could probably add more sleep into my schedule, but it's not really that big a deal. So that's pretty much it as far as paying the taxes. I don't have any tax returns that are done. My reports, my pay and tax records are all finished and they're in here for everything that I would need. Um, you know, I don't think there's really all that much to it other than just continuing to run and pay your bills. Pay your bill, pay your bill. And then each month, it's just going to increase that much more. Just keeping an eye on meals and bus tokens. Um, you don't really get hit with so much of the random acts of life in this part of it. It's going to get worse as this thing uh, goes on. So make sure that in the next stages when you can buy insurance that you're doing that because you're going to get hit with medical bills and all sorts of stuff uh, coming up. I'm at 13000 right now. If I go back to meals, let's just go... 500, check out on that, and then go to shop and city bus tokens. We'll do 500 of that, because I don't really like doing that all the time. Run to, keep going to the 28th of each month. Ah, awesome, I had a check show up. I think that's because I overpaid on my taxes paid them too much and so I'm going to get a refund from them. There it is. All right, so I got to switch over to the bank and cash checks. Yep, I overpaid on my taxes by that much money. So one of the things I can do is I can cash that check. Um, this might be a good time for also for some people to open up a savings account. Um, and throw like a thousand dollars in there. I'm gonna throw eleven 1 hundred in. Oh, do I not have money? Nope, I just have errors. So one thousand zero zero. So I'm gonna open up a savings account. What are we doing here? <laughs> Apparently, I didn't have cash. All right. And so cash checks, I'm gonna cash my check from the IRS, put that in there. And now I've got a savings account that I've got some money that I can be able to stash in here. So if I go back to this, I got cash, I got bus tokens, I got food, I got just about everything I need. Um, at this point, if I was really playing the sim to win, um, what I would probably do is I would probably try to get myself into another education program and fix my schedule. Um, right now I'm just trying to grind it to get to the 25,000 to show everybody what it looks like. But if you start getting more and more degrees, you can get the higher paying jobs, which means the next levels are going to go a heck of a lot faster. So hope you guys like the video. I hope it's helpful for some people as far as paying taxes. Um, remember if you pay too much in your taxes, you'll at least get a refund on it. So then you won't go to jail or you won't get in trouble for doing the tax part wrong. So do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Hope this was helpful. And, uh, have a great day.